Hey guys, Rob here. So this morning, LEGO officially released the images for the new Brickheads for 2022. And there happens to be four that we have not previously seen as of yet. The fifth one is a Sokotano, which we already have seen and some people already have done reviews on them, so they've got them early. But as far as these go, we have no official release date as yet. It just says coming soon. So the first set that we got is the new Stranger Things Brickheads featuring the two-pack with Eleven and the Demogorgon, which is absolutely amazing to me. It is set number 40549 and it will contain 192 pieces. And like I said, it absolutely looks awesome. Eleven with her little pink dress and her air goes in her hand. And also that buzz cut or the short hair really looks awesome in brick head form. But I do have to mention that Demogorgon looks absolutely amazing too. Look, those ladder pieces for that rib cage looks pretty, pretty damn cool, I would have to say. But not to mention that mouth. Wow, does that mouth look absolutely creepy as all hell. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. And I do love the fact that LEGO is doing a little bit more of the adult kind of oriented sets for the older generation as, you know, the AFOLs do like the LEGO as well. But we also do enjoy uh, more adult oriented content on Netflix and other TV shows and movies. So it is always nice to get um, more adult kind of stuff in LEGO form. So definitely looking forward to this one and definitely a day one buy for me whenever that happens to be. And the next set we've got is set number 40559 and it happens to be the Looney Tunes, Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote 2 pack as well. And this one will feature 205 pieces. So personally, I'm not a huge Looney Tunes fan myself. I did however grow up watching it, but mind you, it was definitely not my favourite cartoon. So I don't have too much to say about this set, but I do have to admit they do look quite cute and I'm sure all the Looney Tunes fans will absolutely go crazy for these. Wiley e. Coyote looks quite nice, uh, kind of reminds me of a little bit of a bunny rabbit, but his snout is nicely built with those um little cheese slopes and things like that. But I do have to admit the Roadrunner is a little bit more interesting than Wiley e. Coyote because it is quite a different build for a brick heads. Normally you get those kind of square bodies and square heads, while this one has a little bit more shape to it. So nonetheless, um, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Looney Tunes franchise, I will probably pick these up because I do like the brick heads and I like to have them all displayed. So I will probably pick this one up, but like I said, definitely not one of my favorites. And the next set we got is set number 40553, and it happens to be Woody and Bo Peep from Toy Story. This set is a little bit bigger with 296 pieces, and I have to admit this one's probably my second favorite of the bunch, apart from the Stranger Things, of course. But I absolutely adore Toy Story. I've seen all the movies. Even though I'm 36 years old, I still do enjoy them, and I still re-watch them every now and then. The only criticism I have is that they chose Bo Peep over Jesse. I think Jesse would have been a better kind of fit for this set because it would have been the two, you know, cowboy and cowgirl kind of thing. But they did choose Bo Peep. And I do have to admit, she does look quite adorable with a little printed tile at the front with a little flower on top or maybe it's a button, can't really remember, with her little uh, green staff as well. And I also have to admit, her little tuft of hair looks quite cool at the front. But I do have to say, Woody looks absolutely awesome. I do love the fact that he's got his little hat on at an angle, and his printed chest piece is pretty spot on. And his gold belt buckle and stirrups on his boots is absolutely amazing touch. Not to mention his little whip and his little holster for his gun. So definitely a day one buy for me and I can't wait to get my hands on these and build them and put them on my shelf along with my other brick heads. So once again, LEGO I think have hit it out of the ballpark with this one. And I do hope that they do release a few more Toy Story brick heads such as Bo Peep and Forky and Stinky Pete, I think the other characters were. But I do hope, however, we do get Jessie in the near future as she would be a great addition to this set. And the final set we got is set number 40552 and it happens to be Buzz Lightyear. Yes, we finally got the official reveal of the rumoured Buzz Lightyear brick heads. So this one is a single brick heads and it will only contain 114 pieces. But however, I do like this brick heads. It is quite cool and uh, very striking with its purple and blue suit. However, this is the older style of Buzz Lightyear as in from the previous Toy Story cartoons rather than the new animated TV show that is coming. But nonetheless, I think this is the more iconic Buzz Lightyear that most people will remember. 
So that is why I think they went for this version rather than a new updated version. But nonetheless, even though it is the older version, I do still love it. I love that kind of printed tile at the front with all his little lights and his little logo. And I have to admit those wings look quite cool with those red and white stripes. And not to mention those little translucent studs on top with the red and green lights. They all look quite cool. And I also do like those red buttons down the side of his other arm. So overall, I think this Brickheads is quite cool. It is kind of a throwback to the older Buzz Lightyear. Not sure if we'll get an updated version anytime soon, but I don't think we'll be getting one due to the fact that I don't think LEGO will be releasing two Buzzes in one year. Maybe we'll get a revised version down the track, but I certainly won't hold my breath. But I'll certainly be picking a few of these up on release date and we'll be adding them to the collection as well. So I think LEGO is going to be doing a lot more of these two packs slash three packs over the single packs. So I'm definitely looking forward to what we have in store for us in 2022. So as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.